footage shot a couple of months ago by a former Navy SEAL demonstrating the autopilot features of his Tesla, at this point narrowly avoiding collision with another vehicle. On May 7th, Joshua Brown was killed when the 40-year-old's Tesla Model S drove under the trailer of an 18-wheel truck on a highway in Williston, Florida. U.S. auto safety regulators are now investigating details into Brown's death. It's believed to be the first fatal crash involving a Tesla electric car and is likely to ramp up scrutiny of a technology that's been evolving with little oversight. Autonomous vehicles, which are also being developed by General Motors and Alphabet, use sophisticated sensors, computer software and cameras. They guide vehicles, dictate speed and brake without driver intervention. The driver of the truck Brown went under, Frank Baresi, said in an interview that the Tesla was moving at high speed and didn't hit the brakes. He said he believes Brown was watching a movie at the time of the crash. Tesla said that due to certain conditions, including the height of the tractor trailer and its position on the road, the Model S didn't automatically brake. Regulators are expected to release driverless car guidelines later this summer. They'll attempt to balance concerns over the technology's readiness versus the promise of safety benefits. 90% of road fatalities are caused by human error. Tesla's stock price has surged more than 500% since 2013, giving it a value of more than $30 billion. But the company doesn't expect to be profitable until 2020 at the earliest.